Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Vans Aircraft Files Chapter 11 Reorganization Plan. Icon Aircraft Files for Reorganization under Chapter 11. ANN offers incomparable coverage of Sun and Fun 2024. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Vans Aircraft Files Chapter 11 Reorganization Plan Vans Aircraft filed its long-awaited Chapter 11 plan of reorganization with the Federal Bankruptcy Court on March 29, 2024. This step is essential for the company's financial recovery. The process will be complete after the court sets hearing dates and the judge signs a certificate approving the plan. Then the plan will be mailed to the same approximately 40,000 people notified when Vans filed for bankruptcy. These individuals who have claims against the company will receive ballots to vote on the plan. Votes will be collected by Vans attorneys, tallied, and the results reported to the bankruptcy court. Customers who made deposits on orders before the bankruptcy and chose not to renew their orders will have their claims classified as priority and or unsecured claims. Priority claims will be paid upon confirmation of the plan or as soon as allowed, and unsecured claims will be paid at an estimated rate of 55% over three years. If the company had liquidated under Chapter 7 rather than reorganizing, unsecured creditors would have likely received only 4% of their claim amounts. The current plan includes adding new positions and funding to replace equipment and install new business systems, including a material requirements planning system. After the break, Dynan expands facilities with Research Lab. singer Dylan Scott out here living, living my best life, yeah. Dylan Scott with special yeah. guest Sarah Evans get your tickets now be a part of the kickoff celebration for Sun and Fun's 50th fly go to fly For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Dynan expands facilities with the Research Lab. Dynan Avionics announced an expansion in Fargo, North Dakota, adding a new engineering site to chart the way forward as they aim to provide cost-effective, high-performance panel equipment. The news comes as a shot in the arm for the growing company, building up a name for itself that eclipses its popularity from years past. Today, Dynan goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, even in certificated aircraft. With Dynan D30 touchscreen EFD MFD suites seen in brand new Barons, Skylanes, and more. FedEx pilots wrinkle at USPS agreement. The FedEx Master Executive Council is once again chapped at the actions of their employer's management, commenting on the discontinued negotiations to extend a contract with the U.S. Postal Service. The MEC cited the issue as just more bad news for pilots, as FedEx execs happily toss more work on their plate with nary a word spent on adding to their pay. Under the USPS deal, FedEx provides flight support for their parcels and mail, an agreement that expires at the end of September. Soaring Society of America offers CFI scholarship. The Soaring Society of America is accepting applications for its junior CFI G scholarship program, a deal that will provide $3,000 for direct training and testing expenses. 
Applicants must show an interest in soaring and becoming a flight instructor in gliders, with the full award gated behind the attainment of an FAI Silver Badge or Colstad Century Award. Glider-rated junior members of the Soaring Society aged 17 to 24 can apply, though the under-18 crowd must have parental consent. Chinese firm buys KleinVision flying car license. The BMW-powered air car by KleinVision has been licensed to a Chinese manufacturer, the Hebei Junction Flying Car Technology Company, for sale in their home market. The design strikes a balance between supercar and vintage fighter, with a mid-engined pusher prop powered by a MoGas-burning BMW plant. The whole design is probably a more livable option than most other flying cars, which are generally much more compact, three-wheeled trikes with folding aerofoils and a cabin. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Icon Aircraft Files for Reorganization under Chapter 11 Perennially troubled Icon Aircraft has filed for Chapter 11 protection. The strategic restructuring process is reportedly aimed at addressing the company's financial challenges while continuing to support customers and operations. The management team remains committed to the company's mission, whatever that may actually be at this point. The Chapter 11 filing will potentially allow the company to reorganize its debts while maintaining its somewhat controversial operations. The company also intends to find a buyer and pursue a sale of its business under Section 363 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. Icon Aircraft is represented by Sidley Austin LLP as its legal counsel, Armenino LLP as its financial advisor, and SSG Capital Advisors LLC as its restructuring investment banker. The company expects to continue operations during the Chapter 11 process. But whoever that might be has to contend with the company's troubled past and tarnished rep. ANN has reported on a number of problems and inconsistencies with the company and its aircraft over a fair couple of years. When the company first emerged, too much fanfare, but thereafter created a great deal of disappointment with bizarre legal and contract strategies, broken deadlines, problems with truthful dialogue, excessive price increases, and an accident record that made a lot of news at various times in the aircraft's genesis. More info to come. After these messages, ANN offers incomparable coverage of Sun and Fun 2024. Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. ANN offers incomparable coverage of Sun and Fun 2024. ANN has prepared its most comprehensive coverage ever of the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo, and we guarantee you it's going to be good. We are already posting stories to the Sun and Fun Digital Daily website at snfdd.com, but the real excitement starts on Tuesday morning at 10.30 Eastern with the Sun and Fun Innovation Preview, featuring announcements of over 30 new products, developments, and other surprises. Visit airborne-live.net to see the exciting announcements live. After that, each day starts with a short live morning brief detailing the news and programs for each day, also streamable at airborne-live.net. Then to close out each day, a very special edition of Airborne, where we report on the highlights of Lakeland at airborne-tv.net. The Sun and Fun Digital Daily Gang will be posting stories, pictures, videos, and more throughout each day at snfdd.com. And then comes Saturday, we're trying something really new, Saturday Flight Live. 
Check in with the Saturday Flight Live crew at noon on Saturday, April 13th for an exciting live pre-show followed by live air show coverage of the big show from the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo at airborne-live.net. See you next week. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.